Welcome to a Fortify experience where in the next 10 minutes or so, I will be sharing with you a pass through a simple process that's personalized for you to help you quickly decrease the negative effects of feeling disrespected. Because the better you feel about who you are, the more you can create more satisfying relationships, a healthy self-image, and a greater self-esteem that can carry you into a more positive, productive, and fulfilling path forward. So what are the consequences of feeling disrespected? Well, for one thing, it can lower your self-esteem and it can create stress by you believing that you have to keep proving your capabilities or your loyalties and it can prevent positive motivation. So during this process, you'll be filling in seven blanks from A through G. So have a piece of paper and a pen or pencil handy so you can write down your answers. And if at any point during the video you need extra time to complete the statements, feel free to pause the video. And if at first you have trouble thinking of your own specific examples, feel free to use the examples in this video as your own because it'll still work. So let's begin the process. The statement is, the thing that bothers me the most about A, feeling disrespected, is B. Now write down feeling disrespected for A and then write down why it specifically bothers you for B. Examples could be, I can't stand up for myself. Or maybe, I have no motivation to do a good job. Or maybe, I find myself hating people. So again, fill in your B for the thing that bothers me the most about A is B. Next statement is, the reason this bothers me is because it makes me feel C. Now this is your uncensored, real, underlying feeling. Examples might be, I feel skeptical of my self-worth. Maybe I feel speechless, or maybe I feel ashamed of myself. So now fill in your C for the reason this bothers me is because it makes me feel C. Now we're in step three, where this is the key to the ingenuity and the effectiveness of the Fortify process, because here's where we're going to uncover the specific positive aspect within you that is unintentionally being ignored, dismissed, dishonored, or forgotten in this situation. This positive aspect is something that you love, value, or respect about yourself, and you know it to be true about yourself, and it's missing when you're feeling C. So the statement is, the fact that I feel C demonstrates that the positive thing I love, value, or respect about myself is D where D is some aspect of yourself that's not being used or honored in this situation. Again, examples could be, I want to feel powerful or empowered. Or maybe, I'm the kind of person who wants to do a good job. Another thing could be, I love people. So now fill in your D for the fact that I feel C demonstrates that the positive thing I love, value, or respect about myself is D. Now in step four, it's time to fortify D in your mind-body system. And this is easy because you simply remember a time in your life when you were activating and using D, that positive aspect that you discovered in step C. Now these are memories that remind you that you have been able to trigger that positive aspect D naturally and automatically in other situations in your past. So the statement is, I know D, because E. So now search your memory and find any pattern or circumstance in any area of your life that confirms the fact that you possess that positive attribute D. And at this point, there could be many examples, but choose a simple one. Something like, I enjoy making things happen. Or maybe, I love the sense of accomplishment. Or something like, people are fun to be with. So fill in your E for I know D because E. Now in step five, it's time for you to think of a specific time when you experienced that positive value in the past. The statement is a specific time when I really felt the strength and power of E was F. It could be something like when I reorganized my office or when I built a playhouse that my daughter loved or maybe when I visited my grandmother in the hospital. So a specific time when you really felt the strength and power of E was F. So write down your F. So now we go into step six, 
Remember back to that time F and re-experience that whole event and feel what it felt like and really feel how good or strong it made you feel and feel the inner strength from that experience that makes you feel inspired, empowered, or really good about yourself and make that feeling really strong and then double it and then triple it until you can feel that feeling vibrating all throughout your whole body. And now identify in a word or two, what's the underlying real strength? The statement is the underlying real strength that made F so powerful for me was G. Examples can be proficiency and pride, or maybe amazement and joy, or it could be mutual love and appreciation. So now you fill in your G. And now we go on to step seven, the copy process. This is where you're going to copy or embed that real strength G from another time in your life into that bother that you started out with. So now focus on that powerful, really strength, real strength feeling G in your body and hold on to it and make it really strong and then double it and feel it growing and then triple it until you can feel that G vibrating through your whole body. And then imagine taking some of that powerful energy G and putting it into a bowl into one of your hands, doesn't matter which hand, while still holding onto that powerful strength G in your body and feel that energy pulsating in your hand and feel how good it feels. And so now as you hold a ball of that powerful positive energy G in one hand, remember what that old feeling C felt like. And then put a ball of that energy C into the other hand. And now we're going to experience a positive, powerful neuro-linguistic programming technique that is really super effective. We're going to use that ball of positive energy G that's in one of your hands as a solvent that will completely dissolve that negative energy feeling of C that's in the other hand. So as you bring your hands together and you start seeing how these balls of energy are starting to interact, start noticing how the positive energy can literally dissolve the negative energy and keep mixing that solvent of positive energy in with the negative energy until all of the C energy is totally and completely dissolved and all you can feel is that positive energy of G. And keep doing it until all you can feel is that G. So now let's see how you did. Start a new list and write down your original A, which is feeling disrespected. So using that same A, feeling disrespected, complete this following statement now. The thing that bothers me the most about A, feeling disrespected, is B. Now write down your new B. You may be surprised that your new B is different from your original B. This is fantastic because when this happens it proves that your previously hidden inner strength has been both activated and installed into that negative issue that you started out with. Otherwise your B would have been the same as it was before. And this is the uniqueness of the Fortify process because it proves that your state of mind has progressed because it validates that you have transformed and shifted yourself into a different and perhaps more powerful state of mind or a more peaceful state of being. This is a benefit you can't get from any other technique. So at this point, if you have not yet been able to answer nothing for B, then it means that you can simply come back to do more passes through the Fortify process so you can find and stack additional positive inner strengths into that negative situation. And each time you come back, you'll be using the newer B until you can finally answer nothing for B or until you're satisfied with the progress that you've already made. Now, depending on the complexity of the issue, I have gone through numbers of passes through the Fortify process before I could finally answer nothing for B. But that's when I'm able to really feel relieved because it's when I just can't feel the same grip or sting anymore of that original situation. And not only that, but I can see myself feeling more in control 
more self-confident, and recognizing options and inner strengths that I didn't realize that I had before. And when you don't feel the same way anymore, imagine how different things can be when similar situations come up in the future. Can you imagine how good you can feel overcoming situations in which before you felt disrespected? You might wind up being more surprised than you can imagine. And not only that, but by activating and embedding those pre previously hidden positive inner strengths, you've also boosted your self-esteem and self-image for that situation. Something that cannot be taken away now that your real strengths have been brought into your conscious awareness. And don't be surprised if you find yourself exhibiting those real strengths in other areas of your life too, because now you're consciously aware that you have those real strengths and that means you will now be able to use them to your advantage. For me, it's always fun and eye-opening to do the Fortify process because it makes me feel good to find and activate inner strengths that I forgot that I had. I hope you have surprising and rewarding insights about yourself like I have had. And so now you know that as Fortify leads you through the process, it brings you into the awareness that you can generate feelings of self-confidence, self-respect, and self-love that maybe you never even expected or never knew were possible. So now thank you for joining us. But we suggest that you look at our other issues that we cover in our YouTube videos to see what might apply to your other life situations. And tell your friends and family about these videos because you never know who they might be able to help. They're all free with no strings attached. We'd love to hear about your Fortify experiences, so send your comments to thefortifyexperience at gmail.com. And also, check out our Facebook page and the Fortify Kindle book on Amazon.com by clicking on the links below. And please subscribe to our channel so that we can keep you informed of new information and new videos. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time.